The information age has transformed how we communicate, beyond our imagination. We are also entering a new era of advanced manufacturing, a time we at GE Power & Water believe will change the face of business, allowing us to build things that matter, faster and better. It is an evolution in manufacturing, inspired by our past. Edison was clearly a systems thinker. You know, he invented the light bulb and then he moved on and electrified the United States. Now we are thinking of our brilliant factory we are developing and we are utilizing the same technologies that we are bringing in the industrial internet and getting much better data access in our factories and putting analytics in our factories that allows us to improve efficiency, speed and agilities. History teaches us that adversity breeds solutions. In 1910, Henry Ford revolutionized the assembly line. Then, in the 1930s, Toyota, led by Taiichi Ono, set the global benchmark with its supply and demand model. Today at GE, we believe we are now entering a third age of manufacturing. It will continue at our gas turbine plant in Greenville, South Carolina, where our new advanced manufacturing works will combine software with hardware like never before, helping us discover, learn, and evolve on the factory floor. Our machinists, our inspection technologists, our quality assurance engineers. We're going to put new tools in their hands by introducing technologies like 3D printing. We're able to move with a speed that I never could have imagined. The brilliant factory we are creating will not only provide jobs, but set the agenda for how we build across the power and water business. This is a great opportunity for the Greenville campus. We're going to invest $400 million towards the construction of the Vance Manufacturing Work Center. It's not just Greenville, it's every factory in our network for power and water that could really embrace this opportunity. I see advanced manufacturing really keeping us at the cutting edge of technology. Technology that will allow us to ink sensors directly onto machinery, making our future smarter and clearer. I think the Brilliant Factory is going to be huge for everybody. And it's not just about productivity, it's about the whole engineering cycle. So one of the most deflating things in a young engineer's experience is to come up with a brilliant new idea and get shot down because we just can't manufacture it. But with these new manufacturing techniques, things like additive manufacturing, we can make concepts that we can never make before. This, for instance, is a liquid fuel nozzle for some of our aeroderivative machines. This particular part can't be made in any other way except with additive manufacturing. At the intersection between industry and society, the Brilliant Factory will utilize global thinking like never before. In Edison's day, you really had people working in the lab. They were trying to improve processes in the lab and then transfer it to the factory. Now, through the internet, we essentially have the opportunity to take advantage of crowdsourcing. Edison would have loved that because now he could have, he could have basically not have just his lab with a, a thousand inventors, but essentially a million inventors out there that all help us improve the innovation for General Electric Company.